Coach V here. Check out this short clip that affords you every opportunity to be a champion in life, leadership, and business. Winning ain't easy, but somebody has to do it. Might as well be you. Extra yard for teachers. Life. Available for a limited time only, limit one per person, subject to change without notice, provided as is and without any guarantee or warranty of anything. Life. Non-transferable and is the sole responsibility of the recipient may incur damages arising from use, misuse, or non-use. Additional parts sold separately, your mileage may vary, subject to applicable fees and taxes, and every restriction imaginable may happen in life. Despite all that, it's your life. Live it. That is the first word that I want to start in this aspect called extra yard for teachers to celebrate what it is that you do on a daily and is the reason why I am who it is that I am today. The second word I would like to introduce also is this aspect called champion. Repeat after me, say champion. champion. Repeat after me, say life. life. Say life champion. life champion. Champion. The very best within a given period of time that amongst your competition, you arise as the best. Second part of that definition is that a way of living or a cause that you would fight for, sacrifice for, commit for, endure for, persevere for. And in sports, people would assume that the reason why I talk about being a life champion is because of the championship experiences that I've had on the college football field. 125 wins and 18 lessons, not losses, in 11 years of NCAA football. A life champion. Which is why we are here today also in the championship realm, here with college football playoffs championships, is this aspect of extra yard for teachers to celebrate who it is that you are, what it is that you do, and for the many of us, including Holly Rowe and everyone that has been on this stage, the impact that you have had in our life, not only because of what it is that you taught us, but what it is that you put down in our hearts in our minds, and in our soul. Say life champion. Life. Say life champion. life champion. Now repeat this after me. Say, Viliami Tafokta Tape Lava Tui Vai. That's why they call me Coach V. That's right. And it is a pleasure to be here with you today and celebrate Extra Yard for Teachers, not because of me, my accomplishments, or the championship experiences that I've had in life, but because of you and the things it is that you do in the classroom, I have become what is this thing that's called the American dream. And though I do not know what the totality of the American dream is, I do know that the American dream has made me. Grew up on free lunch my whole school career, kindergarten through 12th grade. Lived the humble beginnings. As many immigrant families that come from the island of Tonga and everywhere else across the country lived with multiple families in one home. Sometimes even the one car garage being our home. And how did we make it each and every single day of our lives just like teachers do and what it is that you have taught me just one day at a time. Life champion. To be the very best and to try and achieve excellences. Vince Lombardi, who was a champion, says, gentlemen, we shall chase perfection. And as we do that, may we catch excellence, the very best that we possibly can be, in which teachers have imparted on me. Nine children, a whole lot of hope. And as I looked around, all around me, the possibilities were slim. But four aspects that was ingrained in me in the football field but was sparked in the classroom are these four main aspects. Repeat after me. The first one being faith. Say faith. faith. Say faith. faith. Faith meaning self-belief. That I believe in me. Not only the aspect of what it is that you teach, 
But what it is, the belief you instilled in me and in the kids in your classroom now, that not, not, they not only believe in the possibility that they can, but that it is inevitable. Repeat after me. Say, I believe in me. And what I believe will be. Say, respect all. Fear nothing. Say, I will not be bullied. And the bully will not be me. Say, I believe in me. And what I believe will be. Self-belief. And the second part I want that I learned is that things are tough in life, and which is I call is life struggle. Say life struggle. Life. Say life struggle. Life. Say life is struggle. Life. Struggle, struggle is, life. is life. Now say misery. misery. That's optional. How many single folks we got in the room? Now, being single, that's a struggle now. <laughs> but if y'all don't know struggle, get married. You'll figure out what struggle is. You don't know struggle? Have some kids. <laughs> Woo! You'll figure out some struggle. You think you, you know everything, and then you become a parent. You figure out what struggle is. But if you want to know real struggle, be a couple or two people that want kids and can't have kids. Mm. That's some struggle. But it's amazing that struggle, because success that I've achieved, both in my professional life, in my marriage, I have a great marriage, I have great two wonderful kids that are alive and healthy, that success breeds success, but struggle is the faculty of life that success cannot teach, that only the faculty of struggle can teach us. How it is to fall and to fail and to be embarrassed and to have some lessons taught to you the hard way by losing. And then it is that we can overcome and become who it is that we want. From a Tongan non-English speaking kid to a motivational speaker in America, baby, why not me? And it is this belief that tells you this, not that you have a lot of questions about the criteria or the academics it is that you're teaching, but the first question is, why not me? That's what you teach. Because yes, we teach wisdom. You're right, Chris, we do. We teach all of these different aspects in curriculum, but what we need to be also teaching, which you have taught me and teach your classes now, is life. Teach life. So the first one being faith. Say faith. The second being life struggle. Say life struggle. And now the third one is teamwork. Say teamwork. teamwork. Say teamwork. I do this in a session like this in the corporate settings by a thing called the clap session, the Coach V clap session. I say a number, you simply clap that many times. Hands ready? One, one, two, faster. Stimulus and response, no thinking involved. You know the action that's already been coached to you to do. Now you get the stimulus and now you respond. One, two, three. Are oh, y'all coachable? I like this. Now, we're talking about championship situations, just not being good or getting a little bit better, but now championship situations. In which case, you have been given something, and in your job and your duties as a teacher and in life, when life calls and demands for you to do something that you freaking respond. I learned that in the classroom before I did on the football field. To respond. So now I'm going to say six, and you're going to clap two, three claps. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready? Six. Six. We're talking about teamwork, family, relationships, working together, which we need in our society, in our communities, in our education, which is also teaching and more so learning. Teamwork. But now when I say six, you say, you jump up out of your seat and you go, because in life, academics, leadership, business, sports, and relationships, you have to get out of your comfort zone to get some stuff done now, right? Right? It ain't going to be easy, and you're going to worry about what other people think about you when you're on the field and the people in the stands, what the analysts are going to say, what all these people are going to be talking about you, the haters, right? But some people, some people say they're about it. And others, they can be about it. So we're going to see if you guys are or not. And if you're not, there's two reasons why teams underperform or are mediocre. One, bad coaching. Two, 
is that the players aren't coachable. In which case, both times, the coach is the one who gets fired. <laughs> right? Hands ready? Teamwork. Show the power of unity, of good relationships, of community, of education coming together from different parts to celebrate this thing called teachers. Oh, y'all getting ready. Let's go. Psych it up. Pump it. Play the music because it's on, baby. Hands ready? One. Uh-uh, bad coaching, my fault. <laughs> Here we go. One. Two. Hone in now. Two. Three. Six. Nice. E for effort, E for effort. But with practice, there's no such thing as perfection, but with practice, you can get better. But thank you so much for being so coachable. Give yourselves a hand. And I will end on this. The last part of these four life lessons in the Life Champion series is called transformation. Say transformation. What it is is the seeds of hope and opportunity that you leave in terms of life lessons in your students that when the proper conditions happen, that it will grow, bear root, and flourish. In California, it's been a long time, and that's where I'm from, since we had good rain. The whole entire state, even from space, you could see that it was absolutely brown and barren. And then it rained over the, over the December times and Christmas. And for the first time, California is all green. And that's what education, learning, and teaching is. You don't know when the opportune condition is that you're going to have the opportunity for your championship success, for you to become who it is that you want to be. But you plant it in there anyway. And in the opportune time that it will happen, and I will close on this. The number one reason why the CEOs and the managers and the teams that I work with will absolutely succeed is because of this one thing, that they will not quit. Because when things go wrong, as they most times will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile what you have to sigh, when life is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. See, life is weird with its twists and its turns, as every one of us sometimes learns that many a person, see, they turn about when they might have won had they stuck it out. But don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You will succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it appears to a faltering woman or man. But you see, success is failure turned inside out. In the silver tint in this thing called doubt, and you never can tell how close you are because it may be right here when it seems so far. But stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. My name's Coach V. One love, mad respect, live it. I hope that fired you up to be a life champion and that you're ready to win. My name is Viliami Tuivai. They call me Coach V life leadership and business coach and master speaker on the Life Champion Series. I look forward to connecting with you soon. You talk, I'll listen, and together we'll win.